high gear and attack up, which is not enough to kill these guys, and they have counter, and I want to save my health. So I just throw out a little res, pray for a quick turn, which I do thankfully get. So I use that to uh, actually use an elixir. I think this is like the first time I've used it in my game ever. And uh, heal up my female knight, then move back into position. And for lack of better options, uh, Rius will do her little healing thing. Heal up the monk some. Wait in place, because she doesn't need to move. And disposes 250 to the monk's 246, and the monk dies once again. Meanwhile, all these little siege dogs just inching closer and closer toward me. It's trying to feel a little bit pressured. But, uh, hopefully I can start killing them soon. And then once again, this female knight, I think she has like 63 brave. So these chain damage splits, I'm just loving them so much. Now once again, uh, three in a row, three in a row, yeah, three in a row. So she's just having them uh, impale themselves and she's dying and yeah it it's an a, it's an unfortunate consequence because she has 12 speed also and how this AT is working out is I can revive her right before her turn but right before her turn is the robot's turns so she's a damage sponge and not much of a white mage at this point but it gets the job done I guess Let's re we realize that haste is probably going to be wearing off soon. May as well refresh it. Because he can't attack worth crap right now, anyways. Race gets hit for 640 damage, but doesn't trigger. I'm a sad panda. Then I realize that rezzing anyone at this point is a waste of time. So I heal up with Chakra to give Ramsons the MP. Meanwhile, I decide to not rest with the Knight either, because these Seal Johns are weakened enough that I can kill them with my attack. So I need to start killing them, because uh, they're getting a little bit close, and uh, if I kill them, they can't hurt me anymore. It's uh, preventive maintenance right there. Ramson tries to get a piece of the action, realizes that he can't do a kill shot, so he just accumulates and we'll hopefully start killing people next round. And now that they're very close to all these guys, they're all be running up and meleeing him now, because no point in going after a damage attack that will hurt the user and probably do less damage in the first place. Reese is taking a beating. And uh let's see, that is my entire section that's able to res. My so my knight's surrounded. So he has to kill these guys before he can run over and start rezzing all of them. And uh Ramsa can't res. So if the knight dies, he has re raised thankfully. But next round if he dies again before I start getting some reses off. Oh, never mind, I had re <laughs> said re raise. So uh not dead yet. Start throwing out the reses. Regen, move HP up, perk her up a little bit. Remza does what he can to start taking out some of these guys. Oh, crit for 936. Beautiful. Once again, another little high health guy. Goes down quite easily. And then I realize my options. I can attack him and kill him. Or regain 800 plus health and deal out probably more damage than what I could have done otherwise. And apparently Ramsey has a double turn in the first place. So, that worked out. Uh, at this point, the battle's basically won. Just need to keep myself on my toes. Because I think there's three of them left and I have enough resurrection power that I can't die completely because the four of my guys can res and I outspeed them. Uh, go for a movement a little bit so I can chakra, that doesn't work out too well. So he just sits right where he was in chakras. 
My uh, white magic knight, of course, dies once again. And damage split finally takes this toll. That guy in the back, I never touched once. He died completely based off damage split and dispose. It's beautiful. And the back's taking care of itself fine. May as well just go on the forefront. Ramza comes to the back, throws, throwing out some support. I can quick the guy, or I can haste him. Eh, I may as well haste him. Probably better in the long run. So let's get some res chain going here. Looking at, based off their CTs, I can probably res up Raze, who can res up the white mage, and it'll all work out quite well. No overlap of uh, counters. Well, death counters, not like physical counters. <laughs> Anyways, so everyone's all rezzed up, and now that they're all rezzed up again, may as well throw out some more haste, just get them all buffed up a little bit. Because as of right now, if any of them die, sorry, if any of them get attacked, they're going to die. Because there's no way my knight's going to be able to reach this guy in time, and this guy is up. So, nothing this white mage can do again, because she's a victim to this charging... And because she is, of course, a charging white mage, bam, dead. But the steel giant's rocking about less than 200 health. So I'm just to blow his general direction, and uh, he's going to die. But it ain't going to happen this round with that monk. Not too good with the teleports today. So, eh, screw my white mage. I can just zerg rush throw a little revive her way and just start going after this little giant guy. Quick resolves. Up, oh, rise. Not gonna get the killing blow. Will the monk? Will the monk? Uh, looks like the monk will. And that is how you passively kill the still giants without monsters and without thunder. Booyah!